Assalamu alaikum, I am Zishan. Welcome to a new video on thermal power plant series. Simple thermal power cycle consisting of a boiler feed water pump, boiler, steam turbine and a condenser is the integral part of every industry. It can be in the form of a captive power generation unit or it can be also in the form of a thermal power plant in the power sector. In this video, we will be learning to draw the temperature entropy diagram in the application of Microsoft Excel. We will also plot a sketch of a simple thermal power cycle over this temperature entropy diagram. In the context of this video, let me talk of something personal here. After graduation, when I appeared in the initial interview of my professional career, the interviewer asked me to draw the diagram of a Rankine cycle over the temperature entropy diagram and explain its major processes. So what I mean to say is that the importance of temperature entropy diagram can never be ignored at any stage in the professional career, even at the start of your career. This video is going to be very beneficial for the existing power industry professionals. For the new entrants who are just entered in the power industry, this video will help to understand the simple thermal power cycle and how it works over the temperature entropy diagram. And more particularly for the engineering graduates who want to join the power sector. It's my personal advice to all engineering and technical graduates that if you want to excel in your professional career, will always make your concepts more clear and have a strong grip over the basic knowledge. So let's start the session. In order to draw the temperature entropy diagram of water, we need to have the steam tables. These steam tables are normally available in the engineering textbooks of thermodynamics and can also be downloaded from the internet. So from this steam table, we need to copy paste the data of the temperature and the entropy of the saturated liquid and saturated vapor into our Excel worksheet. Let me change the view of this document. This table is available over the two pages. Let's copy paste this. Once data is available of temperature and entropy, we need to insert the graph here. Selecting the data here. In the x-axis, we will be plotting the entropy and over the y-axis, the temperature. So selecting the value of entropy in the x-axis. and for the temperature in the y-axis. In this way, we will get a curve of the temperature versus entropy of the saturated liquid. Let's add another series into the same graph of for the entropy of the saturated vapors. We will be adding another series in the same graph. Over the x-axis, the value of entropy will be plotted and over the y-axis with the same temperature range. So here we have the doom or we can say that the curve of the temperature entropy diagram. So after a bit formatting, we will get this type of graph here. Now let's plot the data of ideal thermal power cycle over the temperature entropy diagram. Ideal system means that the process is completely reversible and there are no pressure losses and the friction losses present in the system and the process is completely isentropic process. 
The condenser here is operating at the pressure of 75 kilopascal. The condensate outlet is taken up by the boiler feed water pump at a temperature of 89 degrees centigrade. The boiler feed water pump in injects this feed water into the boiler which is operating at the pressure of 3 megapascal. This boiler converts the saturated liquid into the superheated steam at a temperature of 480 degrees centigrade and ultimately which is fed into the steam turbine to do work. The steam quality at the outlet of steam turbine is of 96%. It means that 96% is the steam and remaining 4% is the moisture in it. The temperature is 92 degree centigrade and pressure is of 75 kilopascal. The operational data of this ideal Rankine cycle has been plugged into a tabular format for the preparation of graph. You can see that for the preparation of temperature entropy diagram, we have the data of temperature here and we need to have the values of entropy for the same temperature and pressure conditions. The data of the ideal steam cycle has been placed over the temperature entropy diagram sheet and entropy values have also been written along the values of temperature and pressure. Again we will select the data from this table, we will add a series. First we will show the process from the condenser to the boiler feed water outlet pump. Along the x-axis, the values of entropy are plotted and along the y-axis, the values of temperature are available there. We can see that a vertical line that shows the isentropic process of the pump is plotted over the saturated liquid line that shows the function of the pump. Now let's start plotting the next section. the entropy values over the x-axis and the temperature values over the y-axis. In similar way, we will plot all the lines available in the table. And at last, we will draw the line of the condenser by selecting the data. The data of the ideal Rankine cycle has been plotted over the temperature entropy diagram. Now let's show the major process. This straight line shows the process of the boiler feed water pump in which the extraction is taken from the condenser hot well and is pumped into the economizer section of the boiler. This is the economizer section of the boiler that heats the liquid from the compressed region to the saturated water line. This dotted line shows the conversion of the saturated liquid into saturated vapor state. This process normally takes place in the steam drum of the boiler. From the steam drum, the steam is extracted out and is superheated to the temperature of 480 degrees centigrade and this is the superheater section of the boiler. This straight line shows the turbine work and the steam after doing work in the turbine is dumped into the condenser at the steam quality of 96%. So this 96% shows that this 96% is the steam and remaining 4% is the moisture present. The saturated vapors are converted into the saturated liquid condition and again is available for the boiler feed water pump to again pump back into the economizer section of the boiler. And this is how we can plot the Rankine cycle over the temperature entropy diagram. So upon changing the pressure of the boiler feed water pump from 3000 kilopascal to 10,000 kilopascal, let's see what happens inside the graph. Pressure curve has been shifted upward inside the dome and ultimately the steam quality further reduces as this line shifted inside the dome. As we have studied that, as we move from the right towards the left, the steam quality reduces. Now if we increase the degree of superheat inside the boiler, then ultimately this curve and this straight line will be shifted towards the saturated vapor line. Upon further increasing the temperature, you can see that it start moving outside. So that was all about today's video. 
about the plotting of temperature entropy diagram in the Microsoft Excel and ultimately sketching of the ideal Rankine cycle parameters over this temperature entropy diagram. If you find this video information and beneficial, please do subscribe, like and comment on this video. So keep connected for more stuff like that. And with this, Zishan signing off. Thank you.